Hi, it's Miranda. I wanted to talk today about my journey with my vision. It might help somebody else. I've had bad vision since I was three years old and I pretty much just had astigmatism in my left eye and just really bad eyes and they would just get worse every year. The other thing that I tended to have a problem with was um, this eye tends to try to drift off a little and it's not called lazy eye because if I want to fix it, I can fix it. Apparently the lazy eye is a little bit more, you can't control it. I forgot what it's called. But, <laughs> but um, so I had that issue. As a matter of fact, when I was five years old, um, I had to wear an eye patch for a while. And, you know, kids are really nice to kids that have uh, different strange things going on with bad eyes, glasses, whatever. Finally, when I was about 13 or so, I was able to get contact lenses, which was the most amazing thing in the world. After contact lenses, eventually my eyes would go, they would get a little funky. And this before they had dailies or anything like that. You had one pair of contacts and you had to keep cleaning them. Also, for a long time, even when they started having disposable contacts, by the way, that's my son if you're hearing that in the background. Um, they didn't have disposable contacts for my prescription because of the astigmatism especially. I'm nearsighted, by the way, before I... I don't know if these numbers mean anything to anyone who doesn't have glasses. Uh, sometimes they don't mean anything to people with glasses, but my eyes at one point were um, negative 8.75 and ne negative 8.5. So that's, that's pretty bad. <laughs> there was one time when I had, um, I had to go, uh, I went to a community college. What ended up happening was one of my eyes started really bothering me in class. Like I was tearing and tearing. I could barely look out of it. So usually a responsible person, but I forgot my glasses case or solution that day because I figured quick class, go home, no big deal. My mother, was the one who had been driving me at that point because I didn't have a car or a license yet. I was a late bloomer. That I started going nuts, so I went to the nearby snack shack type of thing and I got like a little container that usually you would put like ketchup or something in and I just put water because I, I didn't have anything else. Okay, I can't see out of one eye and it's tearing up. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> within minutes the other eye started doing the same exact thing I had to take that out if you heard what my prescription is you can imagine how much fun it is to try to see anything when you don't have your glasses and you're in community college after that class I had to let my mom know I was ready to be picked up and it was pouring outside this is also when payphones were a thing guys I'm old so I went to the nearby payphone and no joke, had to dial like this. And then when my, when my mom was coming to get me, she had a minivan that many people had and it was pouring out. So I was just looking, trying my best to do this and look and I couldn't see her. She had to get out of her car to come to get me. So that happened and I, I found out that the veins in my eye were starting to bend outwards or something. So my eyes just basically got more sensitive Another thing I have are floaters. Lots of people can see the floaters in front of their eyes. And it's usually just a little, like one veiny thing here. It almost looks like little bits of lint in front of your eyes. No big deal. Um, if you want, you can look online of what floaters look like. And sometimes you can, someone will show a landscape image with just like some floaters over it just to see, oh, that's what it looks like. The thing is, I have them all over the place. And um, I did when I was younger too, and I didn't know what they were. Um, I had my eye examination recently, so supposedly that doesn't really mean anything. My eyes are doing well. I just have a lot of floaters. I wanna say about more than 15 years ago, my husband and I, he was my boyfriend at the time, we got our eyes done because his eyes were almost as bad as mine. And we were supposed to both get LASIK, turns out, because of the irregularity of my eye and other reasons for him, we both ended up getting a PRK done. If anyone wants to know the difference between LASIK and a PRK, LASIK, the top of your eyeball, they kind of slice the thin layer, lift it up, zap, zap, put it back. PRK, they kind of just scrape very gently, zap, zap, and then that has to heal. So that usually takes longer to heal. These days I think it's even faster. So um, 
if I'm wrong about anything, about any procedures, that's just because I did it many years ago. So after our procedures, it took a while to get healed and everything, but eventually I got to 2020 and it was the first time in my life I didn't need glasses or contacts or anything and it was amazing. Again, I've had glasses since I was three years old. In my, um, I want to say mid-20s, I didn't have to worry about glasses. Similarly, I found out that I had endometriosis. And the fun thing about it is that it really causes your periods to... Some of them can be really bad. Well, sometimes all of them can be bad, but they're, they can be pretty bad. One of the things that the doctors will suggest is getting pregnant. So basically your body can heal. If you have scar tissue, it can heal. All that inflammation from every time you had a period, the blood not being able to go anywhere and, and causing inflammation, that's not happening because you're pregnant. The thing is, when uh, I first found out we weren't ready to have a baby, me and my husband. And some people don't want a baby. So what do you do then? One of the other options, I believe they're, besides things like hysterectomy and stuff for more severe cases. And one of the other things that they might do is put you on hormones. They might be something as simple as birth control or something more dramatic uh, called Lupron, which only some sort of chemotherapy drug for men could be wrong about that but then it turned out they found out that it would put women through a menopause for six months I never went on Lupron I've heard many 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 stories about it uh, but I never got to Lupron I did birth controls I did the patch until that was no longer approved and I did the depot shot which I loved but that made me gain weight and also they didn't recommend you being on it for a certain you know I think over two years or something so I couldn't really I was on the Nuva Ring and I really liked it. Unfortunately, insurances change. Gotta love insurance. Hey. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm in America. Insurance sucks ass. Insurance suddenly decided that we're not going to cover this the same way. This is now going to be a tier three type of drug for your insurance, which means now every month you have to pay $75 on top of whatever else. And it was something that we couldn't really just afford to just jump on right then. And my doctor, who, best GYN ever, by the way, he tried, he said, you know, maybe I can call them, maybe I could, they basically said, this is how insurance works, you can't bend the rules, I don't care if a doctor calls me. So I had to switch to a birth control called Janelle. I'm not going to say my experiences are exactly what's going to happen to anyone on Janelle, I'm just going to say that different people react to different things in different ways. And I noticed after being on Janelle for only the second month, my eyes seemed to, to get a little worse. I was squinting. And I wasn't of the age where supposedly that's going to be happening. I am now. But I wasn't then. I didn't know if it was my imagination, but I noticed I was squinting a little bit when I was looking at the TV and things, just a little bit. And I talked to my doctor. And I went to talk to him. He said, oh yeah, you know, that's one of the side effects with a lot of these um, they, hormonal changes can do that to your eyes regardless. Like even pregnancy can do that to your eyes. So unfortunately what happened was Janelle specifically affected my hormones in such a way that it changed the pressure in my eyes and now I need glasses again. I think I'm like one or something like that. But it's still like... <sighs> So I wanted to share this for anyone who had this situation. If you, if you notice changes in your eyes and you're just like, wait, I'm not doing anything different, but you maybe are on a birth control, whether it's Junelle or something similar, ask your doctor. That might be the thing causing it, unless, you know, it's just regular changes. But if you don't normally have changes in your eyes and that's the thing that you've been doing different, they might be connected. I, I Sometimes it helps to hear somebody say something like that. My glasses, by the way. The reflection might be bad. Oh no, it's not too bad. Hi, ring light. Um, so these are my new glasses. I just got them this week. It's a shame I have to have glasses, but whatever. These are... It's weird how this style, the, the big glasses came back when... Let me tell you something. When I was wearing glasses in elementary school, big glasses, 
were not in style. Eyeglasses would hit my cheek when I smiled, and now that's a style. Okay. Somebody was talking about something. I don't even remember on Twitter. And I mentioned that, and I said, yeah, my eyes went backwards when I was on Janelle. And then I saw a couple of comments, like people were just not aware that that was a thing. And the only reason I'm aware is because I went through it. So I realized, oh, like if you don't know this, just make an informed decision, talk to your doctor. Um, if you have issues with your eyes at all, I mean, I don't know if it happens to people who've never had eye problems, like any eye changes, like been 2020 20, their whole, I don't know if it does that to them. I, I assume my eyes are susceptible to pressure changes a little bit more than someone who's never had any type of vision correction or anything, but I don't know. Um, I just wanted to share. So endometriosis, uh, led to my eyes going backwards it's well janelle did but you know i don't want to put the the, con the birth control down that was just my personal experience i'm sure there's somebody out there who swears by it and loves it i'm not one of those people everyone uh i just hope you're staying safe and stay informed don't believe everything you see in here um, ask questions whenever you can, get all sides of the, whatever. There's so many things like, I'm not your mom, but have a great day. Hope life gives you what you need. Bye.